Well, welcome to the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Getling and Gino Franti. And today we talk about some controversial, juicy stuff. All right. So, yes, the budget's out. At least uh, what Trump has uh, laid out for the budget for the next few years. And his goal is to balance the budget and actually reduce our debt versus our GDP. God forbid that? that we have a balanced budget, right? Yeah. We should always spend more than we make. Isn't that what we show ourselves? We should always indebt <laughs> ourselves, fall behind, and lead ourselves into imminent default. Mm, yeah, I think not. Yeah. So his goal is to take us from the current 77%. I mean, our debt accounts for 77% of our GDP. That's scary stuff. That means for you and I, that means you have debt of $3 to every $4 you have. That's not good. So his goal over the next 10 years is to reduce that to 60%. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, 70%, but that's a big number on $20 trillion. Okay, so let's talk about that for a minute. Obviously, there's going to be some unpopular cuts, but it's got to go somewhere. we got to cut it somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's also going to be some unpopular spending because yeah. what we're doing under this administration is a reallocation of spending that's right but still trying to get to a balanced budget i mean uh part of it you know he feels is that with the economy improving that's going to help overall uh budget because then we don't have to put money into all these other factors because the economy was doing bad and you have a, a, an opinion on that regarding when the economy is bad i like that Gene. i do so here's the thing i don't mind helping as far as a country helping citizens that are uh without a job need assistance no jobs food available stamps, when there's no jobs available when the country when we're at 10 percent 12 percent unemployment i understand having to make that that kind of a sacrifice mm -hmm. however right now when we have a full employment economy let's pull back on some of those services make sure that everybody's looking for a job exactly it's too easy to just sit back and go well if they're gonna give me money give me food stamps give me everything shoot why should i go to work well now trump's going we're gonna pull back on some of that and you need to go to work which is good also, he's putting money into our defense. He's putting $54 billion uh, into our defense. He also put money into that, building that wall. Yeah, that's going to be <laughs> controversial, isn't it? Uh, look, uh, I don't want to get too much into the politics of that. There's lots of countries that have walls. There's lots of countries that defend their borders. I don't think that's the end of the world. Who's going to pay for it? That's a negotiable item. Ultimately, I think we have to have a better process for people to enter the country legally. Uh, Ultimately, that's yes. where we have to get to so that we have less people coming in illegally because there's a way to get in legally. Well, there's a cost for that. When they come in illegally, they're not paying what you and I are paying. They're not paying tax, but they're utilizing our resources. That's what the whole wall factor is. It's not just saying we don't like you know, people coming over our border. That's what makes us so strong. It's those that are taking advantage of us and not paying. Shoot, every other country in the world basically says, eh, you don't just get in for free. I know, but at the same time, what I'm saying is those people would be glad to pay taxes for a green card. That's they true. They would be very glad. So we yep. need to fix the system that teaches, that allows people to get in yep. and still defend our border for those that want to come in to do us harm. All right, and here's a quick uh, snapshot. Here are some of the budget reductions, basically, non-defense discretionary programs. We were just talking about Medicaid, children's health insurance programs. Um, he's not going to put everybody that's on Medicaid out in the streets. He's basically cutting back on those who are taking advantage of it, and maybe we don't need quite as much now. Look, I think all of these programs, just like any government program, what we really need is enforcement to make sure that the people that truly need it are getting it, right. and those that are taking advantage of the system are not. All right, you heard right here. Check out more. You can find out plenty of this. Google the budget, and you'll get plenty of info on it and where it's going and stuff. But I love the fact that we're trying to balance a budget, and we're trying to reduce our debt because that is a problem, especially if interest rates go up. How are we going to pay that debt? Huh. Anyways, you heard right here in the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Getling and Gino Franti. Find out more by going to donandgino.com or get these sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885.